there. I am now going to go over how this Mars Lunar Lander, Mars Lander program works. Okay, so again, this is just for fun. Don't actually try to land on Mars with this. Uh, it's just playing around. And also, there's some things in here I don't really understand. So just copy those parts. Okay, so I'm, this is in uh, Trinket. You could do this in GlowScript too, but you know, whatever makes you happy. Uh, so let's just start up here, line two through five. Uh, this just does the sets up the size of the the window up here, and makes it so that the the user can't zoom accidentally zoom with the mouse. Um, one thing you do want to make a little bit smaller so that you can put these controls in here, and uh, buttons and stuff. Okay. Uh, next thing, this is just for this button right here, whether it's running or not. Uh, and then this stuff, this is the run button. I don't know what it's doing because it's not actually, as far as I understand, a lot of this is not like Python. Uh, it's like JavaScript, but yeah, so I don't really know what's going on there. And then this is the run button. This is the top, this is the caption at the bottom just to tell you what to do. Um, this is the slider value stuff right there which again I don't know what I'm doing except I do know the min to the max you can change those you can change the length you can change a lot of these things in there uh, and this just gets the this is uh, maybe that gets the value I'm not sure and this adds some words on there so that I can add the how much of your thrust you have and what your vertical velocity is okay so that's the JavaScript stuff I think that I don't really understand um, now for this. This is a function I made so that if you crash, it makes this expanding sphere right there. And it's a bad way to do it. You know, you shouldn't use um, things from outside. Uh, it doesn't have global vari it has global variables and stuff, but it works. So uh, I just this is the velocity of the explosion. This is the maximum size of the explosion, and it makes this sphere that expands. Uh, that's yellow and it's partly see-through and then just makes an expanding sphere. So, that's it. And this is what happens if you win. Uh, it just says landed. That's all on the screen. This is the gravitational field vector for Mars. Uh, there's the ground and the lander. Uh, that's fine. The mass of the lander and the mass of the fuel and the total mass of the spacecraft. The initial momentum. I gave it, I started it already moving down because it was, you know, from the space, from the parachute. I don't, I just made up these numbers. Uh, this is the time step. Uh, this is the uh, initial thrust force, which is just based on the lander. So uh, that way you can slide the scale and say, like, I want two times the thrust. Um, and this is the initial weight, because the weight changes. This is the scale of the arrow, because I'm going to make the force an arrow. And I want it to be a particular size. So I need to, you can just play with this. If you make this bigger, your thrust arrow looks bigger. That's all. And this is that arrow thrust. Uh, this is the, vol the vertical velocity. It just used to, right here, I print it out on the screen so you can see how fast you're going. Uh, F equals 67. That's how much fuel you have. Um, yeah, I don't even think I even use that. Um, <clears throat> this is used to calculate how fast your fuel mass decreases. So it's just some constant K that I calculated based on saying if you, you could um, run the spacecraft at 1.5 the weight for 20 seconds. This is the speed that you need to be under in order to not crash. Flying equals true is, I can't remember what that's for, but here's the, the main part. So calculate the force. I get the force from the slider. Uh, if you're out of fuel, then set the, the force to zero. If you're flying, if you're not flying, set the force equal to zero. Because what was happening is it would crash or land and then it would keep thinking it's crashing or landing. So. That's, that's what that flying equals false is for. So now here is the total force on the uh, lander. This calculates the new mass. This updates the mass of the lander. This updates the momentum. This updates the, the position, which depends on the mass. Uh, this moves the thrust arrow and the thrust axis, and then recalculate the velocity. Now this just checks and see if you landed. If you did, this break thing is a, probably a bad idea. It breaks out a loop, but oh well. Uh, and the same thing down here if you crash. And then that's about it. So let's just run it up here. Oh, and if you want to make it easier, what I would do is down here uh, or up here. 
change its landing speed to something greater. Okay. So let's run it. I should have a reset button up here, but I didn't put that in there because I'm lazy. So I'll click run, and then I can adjust the thrust. You want to be under. I'm going to try to get it under. One. I didn't. Oh, I, oh, I messed up. Okay. Well, you can see how that plays. And that's the Mars Lander.